What a truly amazing day today is. There's so much gratitude. It is um, gorgeous up here in the mountains. Welcome to Today I Choose. And today's question is, what is the difference between PTSD and trauma? And there is a difference, right? This word PTSD is being thrown around a lot today, and I think that's really um, diminishing what those of us that have or have had true PTSD, it diminishes that experience. Um, so what is the difference? It's that idea of like why some people <clears throat> just get over it and why some don't, right? That was has been a passionate quest for me right there are soldiers that go to war that are standing right next to each other experiencing the same experience and one comes home and is haunted and traumatized for the rest of his life and the other one um, can take a bow and walk on right and why is that well in my quest and my research and my personal experience and experience that I've watched others walk through, I, as I said, I, I do believe there to be a very distinct difference and I believe that to be quantum abilities, right? I believe that to be our high level of sen sensitivity and um, the magic we came to this lifetime already knowing. Now, that's brilliance, not illness. There's a very different, there's a humongous difference. I do not believe in mental illness. What I do believe is that our magic took us to a different level of survival than the next person. Right, we can have, as we said, you know, siblings in the same house, and one is trapped in this PTSD world, and the others like go on to live fairly normal lives. So, what we have to understand rather than beating ourselves up for not being able to get over it, we have to start realizing that the actions it took to create PTSD are supersonic actions, right? They are incredible, brilliant actions, right? So when we can stop feeling sorry for ourselves and we can stop blaming and we can stop um, being miserable for a minute, we can look and see that um, there are ways very direct action oriented ways to walk out of this right ptsd is the quantum action right of separating your astral body from your physical body right now we've talked about that and i'll keep talking about it but that is an out-of-body experience right? While this person is staying right with their physical body and they're walking directly through that moment, right? And, um, and they're here in the 3D. We have risen out of that and possibly still in the room, possibly on to different realms, different uh, dimensions, who knows, right? But we did that. Now, as we, we rise up and we look down, we see that this infectious moment has potential to contaminate everything. And much like our body does with a cyst, we encapsulated it. We made a time loop out of that moment, right? Which tied it off from our daily experience. But at the same time, when we got so much energy, right? And when we get sucked back to that moment, it's like reliving it as if it were the first time because it never got to completely play out. We interfered with that moment, right? So, brilliance, you created a time loop, right? It is interesting, a little side note, that I often find that people that have PTSD also have cysts in their bodies. We became very adept at encapsulizing 
infection, right? So, and this brilliant being, not their first rodeo, right, realizes that, okay, well, I don't have to go back to that exact moment in time. I could hop over a few realities because for each moment, every 90 seconds, we're giving, given six tendril timelines containing a different choice, right? And we can go in whatever direction we choose to go in, right? Now, the problem is, is that when we hop over there, we kind of forget we forget we did it, and we just start feeling a little more awkward and a little more awkward, right? Because we are out of place. That is not our trajectory timeline. We're kind of bouncing through time, inhabiting, or in, inhabiting these timelines, these tendril timelines, just for a moment, right? Now, that's brilliant not illness. So when we can understand that and step away from the illness and the dis-ease, right, we can start realizing how freaking cool we are. And in that realization, we can start embodying our power and learning about it, understanding it, Knowing what you're capable of is brilliant. It's brilliant, right? So please, right? Drink that in. You don't have to live there. You do not have to live there. And um, you already know how to, how to do it. So undoing it is a brilliant snap of the finger if you choose, right? So hop on that 30-minute free call. I'd love to talk to you and uh, see how quickly we can get you out of that maze.